Welcome back to HodgePodge. Today I have for you a review and overview of the Swift Key Neural Alpha keyboard released October 8th of 2015. Swift Key Neural Alpha is unlike earlier keyboards of its kind due to its use of artificial neural networking used to predict and correct language. Available only on Android 4.4, KitKat, and above, Swift Key Neural Alpha utilizes neural networks, a subfield of artificial intelligence inspired by the structure and operation of the human brain. How does it work? Well, it learns based on language data. The keyboard is able to recognize word similarities and by these similarities recognize similar sentence structures. This is a huge step forward in terms of user experience design. As an industrial design student interested in pursuing user experience, I cannot stress enough how big of an accomplishment this is. The keyboard will first appear in a royal purple. You may easily switch over to the classic carbon black appearance through the settings menu. There are many other settings that you can adjust. Most of them are similar to what you might find in earlier Swift key keyboards. I have only one small complaint, and that is, I am not used to the location of the question mark. My old keyboard was the Samsung keyboard. Obviously, you can't expect the two to match perfectly, but this did throw me off as I was ending every question with a forward slash. This everyone can relate to if they have ever switched their keyboard. It will take a tiny bit of getting used to, and that can differ depending on what keyboard product you were previously using. SwiftKey will not allow you to physically handwrite a word like the Samsung keyboard does, but I honestly don't know anyone who actually uses that feature. The keyboard is all about efficiency, being user friendly and predictiveness, it certainly achieves all of those goals. Another cool feature that this keyboard offers is the ability to view the stats of your typing and keyboard's performance. Here I may view how many words and meters I have flowed, also known as swiped. How many words SwiftKey has auto-completed for me. The number of keystrokes I have been saved. The amount of typos that have been corrected. The number of words that have been successfully predicted and by what percent I have improved my productivity. I am at about 24 to 25 percent improvement, which is really huge. I am not sure how they are calculating this data, but I believe it. I have been using the alpha version for only a day now, and I am already noticing the results. At first, it was like any other brand new keyboard, making odd autocorrects. After typing for a short while, the keyboard caught on to my language style and the common errors I make while typing. Pretty soon, I felt as though the Neural Alpha knew me better than I knew myself. In fact, Swift Key Neural Alpha works so well that I almost feel like never typing on the computer again. Why would I when every other word of mine can be predicted precisely? I would almost rather write an essay on my phone than to pull out my laptop and use spell check. Talk about medieval tech. Overall, I highly recommend that you make the switch now. I almost feel sorry for iPhone users. <laughs> As always, thanks for watching. Please feel free to like and share this video. Check out my other videos and subscribe.